Well, these days we know that blood, DNA, and ballistics can all be used to help solve crimes. But what about flies? Team 12's Michael Doudna talked with ASU professors about the bugs that they're using right now to help solve crimes. They are everywhere, buzzing, irritating. But what if they had a purpose? Everyone sees insects creepy, crawly, they try to avoid them when actually they can have a plethora of information. Welcome to the world of forensic etymology with your professors, Lauren Widener. Uh, I was that kid running around with a bug box. And Jonathan Parrott, who wasn't that kid. But now, they both use insects to help solve crimes. The main question that the majority of crime scene examiners ask for is that time of death or time of colonization. That's because the time of death often equals the time of colonization. See, the first living things at a crime scene are often bugs. So flies can be there within minutes. Um, I've done some research where we had them arrive in under a minute. And when flies arrive, they start to reproduce. Larvae, maggots, can be a sign of decay or a clear timeline. And then we end up using their development to help determine how long they've been there. So if you know the species plus the temperature, it creates a math problem leading you to the time of death. Because it's biology. Right, so if they're a certain size, they had to have been there for four or five days. And that information can be vital to investigations. If someone says they saw someone, you know, I saw this person last night. Well, that fly is telling me right now that you didn't see them alive. And the time of death is just one part. Because while flies are everywhere, specific species are not. So if you see flies that aren't native to the area, it could indicate possible movement or relocation. So Lauren and Jonathan have created an entire lab of flies, creating a database of expertise to help extract those clues, helping law enforcement today. I have four cases in the lab right now. For them, the biggest challenge is a change of perspective. From not seeing these insects as creepy, buzzing bugs, but as evidence. Unlike other types of evidence, this evidence is alive. And unlike humans, flies don't lie. They're not actively, you know, choosing to hide anything. So as long as we understand their biology, they should be able to kind of weed out those lies that we might be receiving from people. And of course, the professors are getting a big help from a lot of students at ASU to help solve these crimes. And while these techniques may seem revolutionary, the first use of flies to help solve a murder well, goes back centuries to 13th century China. I'm Michael Doudna, 12 News. No.